Moving to Israel, we can see that the June lunar eclipse exactly opposes Venus in the chart of the foundation of the Zionist state in May 1948 by Ben Gurion. Venus in Cancer in the 10th house of this chart represents the wealth and resources of the Israeli state. Cancer is the sign of the past, of family and biological roots, and with Venus placed in the early degrees of this sign, elevated and prominent on the chart, tremendous importance is placed on the national territory and a conception of land that is owned by birthright. With this point exactly opposed by the June lunar eclipse, Israel's drive for territory and land is being placed in the astrological crosshairs during the coming months. Also, this point is occupied by Uranus in the chart of the current Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, putting major focus on his own refusal to be bound by any restrictions or interference and a general tendency to act in highly unpredictable, shocking ways. Regarding the United States, a number of charts are worth considering. First of all, we can examine the most frequently used chart for the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. The position of Venus-Jupiter conjunction in early Cancer in the 8th house, long associated with inheritance, probate, joint financial ventures and capitalism, signifies great wealth and prosperity. The Sun in the lunar eclipse of June 210 lands right between Venus and Jupiter, which are also transited by the Cardinal T-square. This is highly suggestive of large losses in stock markets and general depression of economic activity. This prognosis is also strengthened by the solar eclipse of July 210, landing exactly on the position of Pluto at the time of the Wall Street crash in late October 1929. Pluto was first discovered only a few months later in early 1930 and has come to represent the hidden forces of plutocracy working behind the scenes in banks and other corporate institutions to effect vast changes to the wealth of entire populations. The solar eclipse conjoins the Ascendant and Mars in the chart for the signing into law of the US Federal Reserve Act in December 1913. Major focus is being placed on the efficacy and true intentions of this institution which is at the heart of the American economic system. What are the true activities of the Federal Reserve? Whose interests does it really protect? How does it impact on the financial system? And how open are its operations to scrutiny? The Federal Reserve actually opened its doors in November 1914 with a Saturn-Pluto conjunction in the first degrees of Cancer, which is now being transited by the Cardinal T-square. Finally, US President Barack Obama's chart shows Venus also in the early degrees of Cancer. As the months of his presidency drag on, we are seeing more and more clearly the superficiality of his role, all appearances, but no real substantive actions except those which benefit the usual wealthy elites. Nobel Peace Prize laureate he may be, but this seems at odds with a president that is fighting wars in three foreign countries and threatening to attack a fourth. In coming months, as the Cardinal T-square transits his Venus in Cancer, tremendous pressure will mount on his ability to maintain this image of executive position, as events escalate increasingly out of control. In the Locational Astrology World Map for the Lunar Eclipse of June 210, there is a complex of angular planets including the Sun and Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Pluto. This zone has already commanded worldwide attention due to a devastating volcano of oil erupting from the depths. The scale of this disaster is only beginning to reveal itself. In the Locational Astrology World Map for the Solar Eclipse of July 210, there is an interesting complex of angularity involving the Sun and Moon and Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus, which occurs in the region around Tokyo, Japan. Watch this area for sudden shifts of weight, perhaps a major seismic event. As the path of the solar eclipse arcs across the pristine watery realms of the South Pacific, imagine the beautiful coral reefs of Tahiti and the delicate complexity of the oceanic life teeming in its warm lagoons. Meditate on the unspoiled natural environment of the oceans that sustains our planetary ecosystem and how fundamental it is to our evolution. Centuries past, the civilization of Easter Island exhausted its environment of its natural resources and collapsed. 
as the solar eclipse path of totality crosses Easter Island, maybe we should think deeply and carefully about the sustainability of our planet-wide civilization, and in particular the crucial role of our oceans in regulating our environmental balance. With two eclipses in the signs of Cancer and Capricorn, water and earth, soul and body, together with a powerful alignment of outer planets in the cardinal signs of new beginnings, we are at an unusually critical juncture in our history. Let us consider the signs wisely.